Welcome back. Now that you've installed Jabber on your computer from the last video, this video is going to show you how to actually use Jabber to make phone calls and update your contacts list if you'd like. So first thing is to notice that Jabber is always running in the background and is at the top of your screen in this dock. By moving my cursor to the top of the screen, the dock will drop down. From here, if you need to move the dock, you can click on these three lines and hold down on the cursor while you move the dock back and forth. It always is at the top of your screen and cannot be moved to any other part of your screen. So in order to place a phone call, I'm going to put my cursor in the dock so that it'll drop down and then click on the search or call section. You can look for someone by name or you can just type the digits that you wish to dial. In this case, I'm going to call a phone that's here in the office with me by dialing 6393. Once I've typed in a number, you can either press enter or press on the green call button. Now that I've placed a call, I can manipulate that call within the call window. So, for example, if you needed to press buttons to answer options, you can click on keypad and that'll pop up your keypad so you can type in or press the number that you need. Click on keypad again and it will go away. If you need to mute the call for a moment, you can click on mute. And now the call has been muted to the person you're speaking to. To unmute the call, click on mute again. If you need to adjust your volume, you can click on the volume icon and move the volume bar as needed. When you're done, click on volume again. If you need to do other things with your call, for example, put it on hold, press the more icon and then click on hold. The call is now on hold. When you're ready, click on resume to resume the phone call. If you needed to transfer this call to another phone, click on more and then click transfer. Here you will type in or search for the person you need to transfer the call to. So for example, Let's say I wanted to transfer this call to another phone. I can type in that number and then press the call button. Once it goes, I can go ahead and press transfer to complete the transfer of the call. So now that you know how to place a call, I'll show you how to use Jabber to see the other features available to you. So in your dock, you have options such as recents, voicemail and the actual hub itself. By clicking on either of these it will actually open the hub to the correct tab. So for example I just missed a phone call so I have a icon here showing me that I have one missed call under my recents. So I'm going to click on recents and that opens the hub and I see the call that came in. Along the side I also have an option to see chats or start a chat if I wanted to, my recents, my voice messages, and some other options. I also have contacts in this window and from here I can either search and call a contact, open a chat with a contact, or I can even add someone to my contacts list. So to add a contact I would go to the menu option, click on it, and then hover over file and then here's where I can choose to create a new contact from someone who's already in our school system or I can create a custom contact for someone who's outside of the school system say a family member and you want to put in their cell phone number or I can even create groups for my contacts once you've created your contact they will appear in your contacts list if you ever need to forward your calls from your Jabber phone to another device, you would do that 
from the bottom left corner. So you'd click on this and you see options to forward calls. I can forward calls to my voicemail, uh, to a previous number that I've already forwarded calls to, or to a completely new number. Once you've chosen this option, you would come back to this box to remove the forward. So let's give an example. I'm going to forward calls to this mobile number. So now calls have been forwarded. Notice at the bottom it shows me I can click to turn this off, meaning calls will then come back to my Jabber device. When you're done, you can close the hub window without closing Jabber. It is still at the top of my screen, ready to go. I hope the two videos from installing Jabber and then finally using Jabber will help you get off to a good start with your Jabber experience. If you have any issues or trouble, please create a tech help ticket and describe your issue in detail. Thank you.